this is a really important award because women don't get awards. There's a recent article in the Nature magazine. I brought it here if anybody wants to see it. And this is an article that was, came out in September, and the title is Women Less Likely to Win Major Research Awards. It turns out in Europe, 20% of the science positions are held by women, but only 19% of the women receive awards. That means in science, 82% of the awards go to men. And as the award becomes more and more prestigious, fewer and fewer women get this award. Starting an award like this and giving it primarily to women around Women's Day is a very important event. And hopefully it will inspire other institutions to do similar things. The other thing the award does is that it empowers women, it inspires women, and it allows women to see that they can have a successful career. The other thing is that I attended women, all women's schools for t 10 years. So my high school was all women and my college was all women and also all women professors. And the women supported each other. We weren't competitive. We actually were competitive with ourselves, but not with the other students. So we were cheering people on. And this gave me a lot of confidence and self-reliance. And it was very important um, in my development. Because in the Jewish culture, education is valued. A lot of my classmates were Jewish women. In 1974, I got my PhD at, from MIT. And that was exactly 60 years after Gertrude Hertzfeld got her MD in 1914. So let me summarize. I'm in awe of Dr. Hertzfeld. I'm in awe of the fact that she was so motivated. And I'm extremely honored to be the living recipient, first living recipient of the Gertrude Hertzfeld Prize. Thank you very much.